Camila. <laughs> Welcome back to the program, everyone. We're almost entering the final hour and leading us right into our next discussion. But before we get into it, I'm going to ask my colleague, Shanes, here. Uh, you became a mom now. How many years ago? Four years ago? Um, four, four. four and a half four years, and years ago. Four and a half years ago. Um, what things were you most curious about at that time that you were most uncertain about? I was uncertain about um, taking care of my baby because I didn't know that is this the right the right way you, yeah. i felt lost because i don't know what to do you know i don't know whether to you know lean into my instinct right. or to rely on my logics and okay did I, you rely on like uh getting together with other mothers and discussing things and nah kind of, not oh, really, really not really i rely on books oh okay books That's i have knowledge from books so <laughs> i've been reading a lot about parenting but it's nice to know that you have a community right now right there's so many communities exactly. communities and you can get in touch with them yeah mothers helping other mothers as yeah. well and while we're on this subject there's actually a community called ibu ibu kota hujan which began in 2018 in bogor with the goal of helping mothers grow through webinars social media content creation training and even Ooh. scholarships that's nice and joining us this morning and to tell us more is community founder Intan Manikam. Hello, good morning, Intan. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Hi. So, um, we want to know about this Ibu Ibu Kota Hujan. It is formed in Bogor, right? Kota Hujan. <laughs> and um, tell us more about how you, how, how, we, how the community have grown so far, and when, when was the first time that you established this community? So yeah, it's accidentally, if I say, oh. yeah, accidentally uh, established in uh, 2018 uh, okay. based on one common problem yeah, among the newbie mothers who just uh, moved to this rain city. Mm. Okay. So if we know that uh, most of uh, citizens of Bogor, city of Bogor, it's uh, newcomers. They, not oh. live, uh, they are not born there. Is that so right? Okay. It's true. So uh, majority they don't have uh, the newbie or newcomers family come to in the city is um, lack of information related with the family activity or related mm. with the mom's life uh, issue or something. But as myself, I moved to this city in 2015. Okay. Friendless and far from family. Can you imagine as a new mom with yeah. one years old daughter? I have to move here alone and I have no idea about why I should wow. go the, in this city. So that's yeah. why. Uh, I, I and my friends uh, came up with this idea that uh, let's how let's we make uh, like an information hub for mothers yeah. who just move in here sit in the city and let's create and do some research to to provide an information related to the family uh, activities such as uh, where is the best uh, pediatric mm. no clue yeah. okay. where is the best school the preschool okay. in Bogor we have no clue it's yeah. so back then in 2015 it's so difficult to find this certain a particular information so yeah. it's quite frustrating for me and my friends yeah, so you yeah, created yeah. A, a, a community like through a, a whatsapp group or how, how did it initially start yeah so because it's only two of us me and my friends Dita so mm -hmm. we started in the easy one Instagram okay <laughs> perfect <laughs> so uh, perfect. both of us do the re did the research and then we just post it uh, the recommendation oh we you just started posting information posting oh. information in Instagram uh, start with the zero followers. Uh, we don't know. Just keep posting uh, along the way. We our followers gaining, uh, gaining the number itself organically. No. Okay. How many <laughs> How many followers do you have now? Right now, we touch 10k after wow. uh, yeah. after five years. Quite uh, slow, but but it's for big. organic it's big. Uh, organically is. Okay, it's, it's quite big. Yeah, it's quite big. so just do did our research and then you just post in our mm -hmm. Instagram. It's quite fun. It's like yeah, you guys a, can check it out. By the yeah, way, it's called uh, Ibu Ibu Kota Hujan. That's the name of the uh, that's the ID of the that's the handle yes. of the Instagram account. <laughs> and you guys can and uh, you guys there you go. Now you have ten thousand and one. Oh my followers. god! <laughs> so. The first Bapa Bapa? Oh, I'm not sure. Well, no, I, I always believe that we should know just as much as yes. mothers. Now, uh, sure. you, you started this initiative with the goal of just being able to share information for mm. those mothers that were perhaps like you, just looking for information. But you've grown from Instagram, you have webinars, we even mentioned scholarships. So, what are, okay, well, you mentioned some of the earlier issues, such as finding like a good doctor or a good school. But how has this been able to grow more than just an information? Instagram account for you to do webinars and what sort of things do you, do you yeah. tackle there? Thank you for asking this because uh, at the first time we're not sure with 
where this community or this platform or this information hub going to so we just response uh, response uh, our members and followers yeah. needs so at the time they they asked uh, they asked us to what what about if we we have uh, like a capacity building uh, sharing session so okay. we can have uh, we can have a chance to learn more about uh, anything else not only the uh, family related topic or a mom's topic but as a mother we also want to grow in other fields like yeah, we want to course. feel like intellectually uh, empowered something yeah. like that and we want to learn many things so yeah we responded and let's make a webinars mm -hmm. uh, seminars workshop event it's um, any kind of activity that we can do uh, in a, like a mom's day out or so on so we go uh, and we, we continue it with the capacity building activity and then yeah and then we grow again in response in our members and followers to have like uh, the latest is a scholarship. Okay. <laughs> it's part of the response. Let's definitely. talk about that then. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What sort of scholarship that you offer? Yeah. Uh, so last year we started this uh, this program. We call it uh, Beasiswa untuk Ibu scholarship okay. for mothers. So obviously uh, it's for mom and who live in Bogor, of course. So it's not uh, academic. It's a non-academic scholarship. Okay. Uh, and uh, provide uh, we provide a hundred percent financial support mm -hmm. for anything training workshop certified or non-certified that uh, desired by the mom wow. so they can apply it. everyone can apply it as, so, as long as you are a mom sorry okay. so, <laughs> mom, and I don't live in Bogor, Bogor and I'm not a mom so I don't qualify <laughs> mom, for this scholarship not, <laughs> yeah. sorry. But, okay so the, the aim here is to allow these mothers to have kind of like to open the doors for them so yes, that right. they have training to learn about yeah. certain things and things of that sort really Wow, okay, so this is something that's very unique because yeah. I've never heard of anything like this before. Yeah. And I should explain to our viewers as well why uh, Bogor is unique. Bogor is, uh, how far of a drive is it? 45 minutes? 60 an hour? kilometer from Six, here, so it's kilometer. about one hour. One, okay, one so it's about hour. an hour. And there's actually uh, like a beautiful highway that goes yeah. all the way there. However, yes. if you live in Bogor, it's got its own infrastructure, right? Yes. And it's really not convenient if you have to keep going back to the capital city all yes. the time Especially for every little a mother, thing. Yeah? <laughs> especially for mother, especially if you have little ones in the car as well. If you get caught in traffic, they might not enjoy that. So your goal, what is your ultimate goal then? Is it to uh, build a better infrastructure as well in Bogor for those new mothers and young families as well, as well so that they have more resources available to them then in Bogor? Yeah. Okay. Number one is like I, what I feel in myself is like it as a mother, we do uh, need a lot of support system and one of sure. it is access to the good information, number okay. one, and the second is knowledge, not, not a shallow knowledge but a real knowledge that we also want to see ourselves growing as well as we sure. want to see our kids growing too. Yeah. Right. Should we go to Jakarta? Not sure. So why <laughs> just so do, do it, arrange, uh, organize it in, in Bogor? Yes. So it's more uh, mom's friendly for us to have this in a Bogor. So yeah. We did. We do that in a in a in a pace and culture of mom. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'm glad that I did that. <laughs> what, what is the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure there like? I, I mean, do you have everything available to you in Bogor? It's just a lack of information. Uh, yeah, we have everything. But for the information hub that related with the family, like. Uh, Specific for the Bogor area, it's mm -hmm. it's no, so it's it's unprecedented. Yeah, see. yeah, so it's only the if I can say humbly, is the one and only, uh, this, this is the the one uh, for the information hub that uh, can give a recommendation, a valid recommendation for moms okay. who mm. live in Bogor. I if see. you want to uh, search like which one is the best school mm -hmm. for your kids, you you must. Follow Ibu Kota Ujian. Ibu Kota Ujian. Okay. You can find another country. Other than it's not valid. Okay. I know that. All right. I will follow Ibu Ibu Kota Ujian. And um, the one thing that I really want to highlight on um, what you're doing is very beautiful because I feel like motherhood is very lonely. It's a lonely journey, Absolutely. and to you know to have friends to talk through um, everything is. I think it's wonderful. And also about the. You know, you, you kind of lost yourself in motherhood, right? Yes, 100% you, agree. Yeah, you want to gain a lot of knowledge and you want to, you know, you want to get back in the game and you did that. Now, I also want to know about this mothers that receive the scholarship. Do you have any, you know, feedbacks from them, the stories that, you know, might 
maybe touched your heart and made you want to do more for the community? From these 20 grantees that already received our scholarship, all of them have a background, a, st a strong why. Mm. So we select them, it's not based on who, who they are, but what's the story behind, what's okay. the strong why of, wow. of them. So can I say, share a yeah, two or course. three mom's Please story? Of course. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so this mom is a postpartum depression uh, a mom. So okay. um, she applied this uh, scholarship, that is untuk ibu, and in in her letter she mm. wrote that I do really need kind of training course. And you know what is the course? One is a Korean language. Korean she language. She feel happy, mm. and she feel hopeful. Yeah, a lot of hope and uh, empowered when she learned about Korean. Okay. And it keep keep her sane, keep okay. her okay. keep her like uh, normal. So yeah. that's why uh, she become one of our grantee. Okay. The second story about this mom is Oh my god, <laughs> it's quite emotional, yeah. She, yeah. she, okay. she, she was uh, pregnant with the second born. Okay. And then uh, uh, she's a stay-at-home mom. Most of them is stay-at-home mom. Yeah. The lonely one. The lonely one. The lonely one. And then uh, she wrote also in the letter of attention that I really want to take an English course. Why? For mm -hmm. her daughter. Because oh. her daughter is a, a fluent in speak English mm -hmm. and she wants to support it. Oh. Mm. She took the course while pregnant. While Nine pregnant. Nine months almost uh, ever given wow. birth. Wow. Okay. She took like eight Eight anti sixteens, uh, eight to sixteen session mm -hmm. to learn about English, and she wrote it in her Instagram, uh, share about her oh. feelings as there when when she received this uh, biasiswa in the uh, biasiswa untuk ibu. So a lot of story like this. Yeah. I Do you remember what she said to you? Uh, sorry. Do you remember what she said to you after she received the scholarship? Yeah, she said that uh, to me personally in uh, uh, WhatsApp. She said that. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm so proud to be a mom, a stay-at-home mom, and I can support my daughter speak English. It's only speak English. It's a privilege yeah. for us. I think. Yeah. yeah. And for them, it's not easy it's like a big this. Thing. Yeah. A lot of a lot of mothers out there is like this. Hopefully, I can we can reach uh, more than uh, Bogor area only. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I can only imagine what it's like to have to stay at home, and sometimes you feel underappreciated. Yeah. And it's great to know that if you can increase your life skills, whatever it is, whether it's a new language, whether it's a new skill, in order to help you connect closer to your child, right. I think that really does make a big difference yeah. and adds a positive spin. Now, speaking of uh, being positive, you have such a positive positive campaign and initiative here. Have you ever considered um, perhaps collaborating with the government in order to be able to do more? Because the government has many resources that can be available yeah. made to you as well mm -hmm. that you can share with your community. We would love to and we have a lot of collaboration, especially Ibu Yana. So okay. She's very supportive. Uh, give uh, what is it, advice, word of uh, encouragement to us and acknowledge our activity too. So yeah, we, we, want, we want maybe another government. <laughs> Very cool. Only Kota Hujan yes. <laughs> right. and Pabima also. Yeah, yeah. the regional it's government. It's not coming. We look forward to it. Yeah. Now, um, maybe my last question um, for you. But, um, uh, maybe you can share one message that will you know empower all mothers out there that are watching right now. Okay, it's quite heavy, yeah. Empowering words. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just... Uh, number one is I think as myself, mm -hmm. as, based on my uh, experience, is like uh, just believe in yourself, just just uh, love yourself, mm -hmm. just be confident with yourself, whatever you are, and uh, grow, be the the best version of yourself, and you don't have to compare it with other. Mm -hmm. You are the best version of you, so be cool with that. Mm -hmm. It's okay, yeah. and and <laughs> keep learning, keep curious, stay curious. If you cannot. Uh, reach your uh, dream now. Mm -hmm. you, maybe you have to postpone it now because, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to juggle the life happens. Juggle <laughs> life happens. So just, it's okay. You will get there someday. Okay. Just keep moving. Just keep positive with yourself. I up. think that's the closing. Yay. <laughs> well, very well said. And I hope that, I mean, this is great for uh, residents and mothers of Bogor, yeah. but I do hope initiatives like this can pop yeah. up everywhere. Yeah, There's no course. reason why there shouldn't be one in different parts of Jakarta as yeah. well. And maybe for fathers as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, well. it's a, that's, maybe that's something I could start. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for coming you, by. It's so great to share. Uh, again, uh, if you guys want to know more, make sure you give uh, Ibu Ibu Kota Hujan a follow. Yes, of All right. course. All right, that wraps up our second talk show of the day. But we will have more updates from around the world when we return. So stay here on the On The Seymour Show.